I should say a few words about why I accepted President Bacow's invitation to chair this endeavor. Uh, and the first reason is by virtue of being the Dean of the Radcliffe Institute, um, which for so many years has been involved in this work. Of course, Drew Faust was our founding Dean. Uh, Drew uh, established um, a, a committee that preceded this one that started to explore uh, Harvard's involvement with uh, the system of slavery. Uh, my predecessor, Liz Cohen, as Taya mentioned, uh, brought together a number of, of scholars to explore in a conference in 2017 that explored universities and slavery. And uh, you know, Radcliffe is connected to this work because of its interdisciplinary nature. This is a subject, slavery, that truly demands a multidisciplinary lens. So we need Martha and her legal expertise and Taya, her historical expertise. We also have a scholar from the business school, from the design school. We have uh, scholars who represent the breadth of the university to come together and reason and reckon with slavery. I should also say it, it's not just that though. It's not just the, the, the deanship and the uh, relationship to the Radcliffe Institute that uh, encouraged me to take on this role. It's because I have been writing uh, and thinking about legacies of slavery and remedies for uh, the uh, legacies uh, all my career. I've done so uh, through work that's focused on the era of segregation and its impact on the lives of African-Americans, particularly the vestiges in the educational system uh, and on legal remedies. And I also will add uh, that I was born and raised in the Deep South. Uh, I observed legacies of slavery and Jim Crow every day. And I will say they certainly motivated my professional uh, uh, commitments, uh, my commitment to uh, be a lawyer, to explore these issues through history, uh, and frankly, my unshakable commitment to equity and opportunity. And so given all of this, it seemed that I could hardly uh, refuse what is a great honor, and that is to chair this committee. 